all right so what is up guys as you guys saw from the first clip i did pull myself an almighty lunar impress so i'm gonna be showcasing you guys lunar impress with almighty yo you know what's up oh my gosh so if you did not know lunar impress is literally the best unit like hello she's the best unit with her insane passive off rip where she will be able to buff herself and i'm pretty sure the max is 100 but someone can someone can check that for me so <laughs> yo this unit is just busted and the best trait on her is of course almighty because she is only one placement so this game just forces you you know to have almighty on her if she doesn't have almighty then it's not really the best but you know it's still the best yeah look at that almighty on her oh my gosh Change. Wait, I thought she's a fox. She's not a fox. Oh, I'm the Lulu. I'm delusional. I thought the fo the hair was the fox tails, but no. She just have like an cat ear type hair. What the sigma? <laughs> Yo, I got fooled. I got fooled. I thought she was a fox, but no, she's not a fox. Yo. <laughs> anyway. I wonder what her shiny cosmetic look like. Yo, I'm so interested now. I want her shinies. But what I've heard from people is that she's not going to be tradable. So isn't that unfortunate? All right, let's go. Look at that. 20,798 damage. And if you guys did not watch my previous video, she buffs herself. And from what I'm seeing, it scales with almighty. So that that is actually mad. Because I don't remember having that buff that high already when I showcased her today. So it does it does scale with, with Almighty. Actually, pretty nice. W, w in the chat. W is in the chat. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. So what we're going to do first is, of course, upgrading our farms. Because if you guys did not watch my previous video, she's very expensive to max upgrade. So having two farms, at least, I mean... You don't really need farms when you're in a leaderboard because leaderboards it just goes crazy. I'm gonna be trying to get leaderboards this update, this season at least. Cause like the leaderboard units goes go for like a lot of stuff, like a lot of rerolls and a lot of gems. So me having that will actually help me in the future. So I mean I, I have the units to become a leaderboard player. So what can I say? Hit me up. Never mind. I probably have people who want to do leaderboards with me already. So, but like, hit me up just in case if they don't want to do it with me. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, you guys can see that she buffs herself, which is honestly insane. And she's also hybrid, like, hello. Yo, this unit is busted. Unit is broken. All right, there we go. We max upgraded everybody. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's take a good look. Let's take a good look of her. Look at that. Almighty. Oh, Damn. Damn. Looks so pretty. I wonder what anime she's from. You know, I cannot tell. Can anybody tell at this point? Like, I can't even tell at this point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you guys have gotten yourself Lunar Impress. Yeah. Dress to impress? Oh, like dress to impress. Lunar Impress? Wait, I'm onto something. Oh, Moon Bomb. Oh, yeah, look at her stats. 108,000. Oh my gosh. She is very expensive to max upgrade, so do keep that in mind. Like, what the Sigma? Damn! Wait, her stats is low-key like busted though with Almighty. This is why Almighty is the best trade on her. Because she's only one placement. I've already said it. I've already said at the start. Um, uh, wait, she's attacking a lot more. Is uh, She's attacking more frequently than the last time I showcased her today. <laughs> Yo. Moonburst. And now she's a Konewi. She's a burst type on here. Has Moonburst. Type shift. <laughs> mm. 
Damn. Damn, boy. And look at that damage. That's... Her passive is just OP and low key. <laughs> Yo, high key. Her passive is just mad OP. Did I see that correctly? When I upgraded her, her buff just increased by like a lot? Or am I tripping? Am I tripping balls? I might be tripping balls. But we're gonna see it again anyway, so... 18,000... Hold on. When she attacks... So 19,253... Oh, it does increase! When you when you upgrade her. It's literally 10% of her stats. Yo, wait. She's OP though. Hello? Tell me right now she's not. I mean, tell me right now she is. <laughs> yeah. Because she is mad OP. What the Sigma? Almighty Lunar Empress, you know what's up? You know what's up? Yeah, she's all like the only issue she has is that she's very expensive. I don't know if you are able to use her in like normal, normal portals. Maybe, maybe in normal portals you can with farms. But damn, look at her range almost 60 range, guys. That's freaking crazy. Excuse me. Could her stats increase though? Low key? Wait, isn't this like mad OP though? Alright, Moon Swift Barrage. Let's get it. What in the stats? No. <laughs> Yo. The stats are mad, I must say. She is a huge line AoE, so I don't know if people will like it because usually people love AoE more low key. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you guys think? I mean, she's not even that bad. Anyway, yo, I'll take it, especially with that OP damage buff, the Sigma. Again, I will be making another video like a uh, meta team versus infinite and I hope that I'll be able to get her to like a hundred percent damage buff because I think it is I think it is the cap. It is the limit most likely. I assume at least. And look at that, that is the max upgraded. 270,663 damage with a 5 SPA and 62.8 range. Yeah, her range is mad. And that's her VFX, her attack. Not too bad. Well, that is the showcase of the almighty Lunar Empress. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'm incredibly happy for getting myself uh, almighty Lunar Empress. Oh my gosh. Yeah, her damage is still increasing. So I really think that the cap is 100%. Imagine if it's not though, yo. Yeah, I think it is. It might be. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.